All right, guys, here we are at day number 783 review video here for S Group. Um, yeah, everything's going pretty awesome, guys. So what I'm going to be talking about in this video here is uh, we're going to do a withdrawal. So we're going to withdraw this $4,087 up here, which is the profits from uh, one of my $50,000 investments, which was the lowest month um, that we've ever had in S Group. It was like $3,600 or something like that. Anyways, I'll show you guys all that. And that was the 7.72% month, um, the, you know, this, this withdrawal up here that, that we're going to do. And the rest of it was commission. So we'll figure out how much commission was made in the last two days because the, uh, the last video I did was two days ago, right? 781 was the uh, last video I did. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get going. Also, what we got to do is we got to reach out to this guy here. Uh, he just joined, I believe, yesterday. So I'll go and I'll do that right now. And if you want to see how I do that. I'll show you. So I'll go in, I'll message him through Telegram is where I'll try and find him. If he's not there, then I go to Facebook. If he's not there, then I'd go to YouTube and I just pop his name in YouTube. Sometimes you find them that way. And then if that doesn't work, I would go and grab his email address and I would shoot him an email. Most of the time when you send these guys an email and they don't, you can't find them on Facebook and you can't find them through Telegram, they don't respond to the email. So uh, you know, all in all, guys, if, if you can't find them in Telegram or Facebook, then normally, um, you know, it's just kind of someone going through, creates an account, and they're just trying to, like, you know, look at S Group through the back end of it kind of thing. And, uh, you, you know, type thing like that. Okay, so we'll get going, and we're going to shoot on over here. We're going to go to the contacts. We're going to go to add contact, and hopefully I can find... This guy through here, I think his first name is Kumar, but anyways, we'll put it in like how he did it. Um, and then we'll get the uh, phone number, pop the phone number in there. Of course, I always block this information out just in case it is like this is his real phone number and stuff. We'll see here in a second. Yes, and there you go. So that's the guy right there. We'll take a look at him. Uh, looks fake, uh, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, so um, we'll just send him a message. And so what I do here, guys, and if you've joined me, you have this access to this page here. Well, anyone can get to it. It's just they have to go through my sales page. So at the bottom of my sales page here for S Group, like how to create your account and stuff like that, I've got this here, the team resources page. And then if you go down to the marketing section, which is right here, um, <clears throat> you know, I've got all this here. So I basically just copy this. It's all just copy paste. There, of course, you want to read it before you send it to people so you know like what to send them. Like I'm actually saying, hey, here's the income calculator and stuff like that. So you'd have to attach the income calculator to the message there. So that's the first in there. And then this one here. So I kind of send it, as you'll see here, like it's color coordinated, right? So this is the way that I do it, guys, because what's going to happen here, why I don't just send one big message is because they're going to get two dings so far on their telegram. It's going to go ding, ding, okay? And then this one here, okay, that's that. This will be the third ding, and it's the third kind of step that I want them to look at there. So this here, boom, okay? And then the fourth one, this here, I go like this, and then boom, that's that. And then uh, this is about the uh, income calculator, how I use it. And then I'll say here is the, okay, so here's the income calculator. And then I just send the income calculator with this last little message there. And they have, you know, everything that they would ever need to use. Where's the income calculator? Oh, there it is right there. So they have everything they'd ever need to, to use or know or anything, guys, um, just with these messages here, right? Okay, so that's that. Pretty freaking simple. And then we'll just shoot back to S group here, guys. I'm going to do a withdrawal. So I'll send this $4,087 to my S wallet. Um, this as well, the 17 SWPs, which is 23 bucks. SWP is so low right now. Um, it's a good time to buy it if you want to hold it and stuff. Uh, I'll send that to my um, S wallet as well. So I'll go to finance. We'll do a withdrawal here. Grab my SWCT code. So there it is there. And yes, you guys missed. I did a withdrawal and I didn't record it. 
um, the other day. So we actually uh, missed one withdrawal. And that was from the S wallet to my bank. So I'll show that in this video as well so people know um, where where's that funds, right? Okay, 4087, so it'd be 4086 because there's a dollar fee. Pop that sucker in there. And what I'm actually doing here, guys, is a member wants to buy 10,000 SWCTs. So they want to buy $10,000 off me for S Group. It's a member with a $100 investment. Uh, so I was kind of hesitant thinking like, oh man, do I want to sell someone 10,000 SW, uh, CTs? Because that's like, that's going to eat into a lot of my, you know, cause I do this for like a ton of new members guys. When they come along, it's the cheapest way to, to get going is to buy funds off someone who's like doing withdrawals. Right. So, um, yeah, but that really cuts into my, uh, helping new people out. <laughs> Uh, funds there, which is, you know, the people on my team, right? It'd be pointless for me to do this for people that are not on my team, but he's like my first line referral there. So I said, yeah, let's do it. I'll sell you $10,000 USD SWCT uh, here through the system. So he's going to actually send me crypto for it. And you might be thinking like, oh, why, why would he send you crypto for it, Drew? Like if he has crypto, he can just go and fund the website and then exchange it. Uh, here's the thing, guys, is to sell about $10,000 of USDT even, which that's what he's going to do, um, it's going to cost him probably like three to $400 just to get it into SWCT, right? To send it, to convert it into SWCT and all that, get it into here and, and, and that sort of thing, right? So yeah, it is cheaper just to buy, you know, uh, funds off a, a member, even if you're going and you're sending them a cryptocurrency. So we'll, we'll do a withdrawal of this. So we've got 17.57 of them. So I'll just do 17. I think I can do 0.57. Let's see if that goes through. I've never tried to do like a point something on there. So I'll go and I'll copy this. You guys can see I've got 248 of these now, which is pretty damn impressive because my goal is to have 1,000. I think I might have to put my goal up. Um, my goal is to hold 1,000 SWPs. So I think I might have to put my goal up uh, because I think I'll hit that pretty fast. Like that was my goal over the year. And uh, I've just been building them up now for the last, well, si since uh, the end of September there. So not too long, a couple months. Okay, so there you go. Refresh the page. And then those withdrawals are, are out. There's the withdrawals right there. So they'll be at, in the S wallet. Well, it says on the website here, guys, withdrawals can take up to 72 hours. Normally, you know, 98% of the time, you're going to see it within 24 hours. Guys, I've seen withdrawals go through in an hour. I've seen withdrawals go through in almost 72 hours, right? But most of the time, it comes to you like within the day kind of thing. Okay. So there's a couple other things here, guys. I, I, I've thought about... Uh, this over here, because we've got a webinar coming up, um, a Russian webinar, not an English webinar, a Russian webinar, I should say. Uh, and normally when they have the Russian webinars, guys, because the company's Russian, right? Uh, Russian, Ukrainian, I should say, the majority of the members there. The owners are from Ukraine. They all live in Dubai now, though, right? Um, but anyways, th this is the head honcho guy. His name's Vadim. Uh, he's doing a questions and answers, you know, news and roadmaps session webinar type thing they're normally about like 40 minutes to an hour and a half long uh thousands of people attend them type thing and then uh most of the time we get our information from that webinar like in english right we'll get it like three days to like a week after the webinar happens so i know most likely because it's a question and answers uh webinar there that most likely we're gonna get <clears throat> You know, people will be asking about this, okay? Like, why is the daily percentage of earnings 0 0.30 to 0 0.40, like, for the last month and a half? It's it's basically been like that. And even back here, guys, going back to, I don't know, I would say way back to, like, the middle of the summer, there was a lot of average days from 0 0.30 to 0 0.40. And then, you know, every now and then we'd have, like, a you know, a nice, nice, real nice big day or a, a low day. I think there was a 0 0.19 day here. Yeah, there's a 0 0.19 day there um, uh, throughout there, right? So I think that's going to be one of the questions there. Uh, I'm going to share my opinion 
on it because it's clear as day to me, but I'm not really sure. Oh, I got to move this around. Sorry, guys. I'm not really sure what they're going to say in their webinar. And it's going to be interesting if I put out this news now and then they put out their news, like the webinar is tomorrow, the Russian webinar there. And the news is the same. I, I don't know. I think that'd be pretty neat. But uh, from my past in, in trading, guys, um, it's pretty simple to see like as a trader, what's going on here is that the markets are super unstable. You can go across, I don't care what market you're in. You can go across any market there and you can look at the Forex market. You can look at the crypto market. You could look at the stock market, anything guys. Most markets are coming down and they're coming down hard. And most day traders, guys, what they do is they don't, you know, because this is day trading basically, right? Like what's creating us the profits we're getting five days a week. It's not they're going in there and they're holding for a month and then you get your profits, right? Kind of thing. It's day trading. Like five days a week, you're getting profits and they're in and out of trades, um, you know, many, many times per day. Last month, there was 830 trades or so, like in 30 days, which is a lot of trades. That's more than any human's going to do kind of thing, right? So, um, yeah, guys, this is what I think is going on uh, from my experience with trading. When markets are rough, I used to trade crypto market. And then before that, I traded the Forex market. So crypto markets where I have most of my experience in. So I feel more comfortable talking about crypto market, obviously. But I do know a lot of really good uh, Forex traders. And so, and it's basically kind of the same thing. Like if you're day trading, you want to enter when the market's lower and it's a good time to enter on like a four hour chart or something, or even a 15 minute chart, depending on how quick you're in and out of your trades or even a five minute or one minute chart, depending, you know, really how quick you are in and out of your trades. And uh, yeah, guys, the markets have been coming down for in, you know, the crypto market's probably the slowest one to come down. Well, not slowest to come down, but slowest in time, uh, time frame to come down. It's been like, you know, almost a year now, right? And even the uh, DXY is coming down and stuff. So we're going to look at that and we're going to compare it to the uh, 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 Forex earnings in, in uh, S group here. Okay. So when you're day trading, this is when I kind of had my big kind of breakthrough when I was day trading was when I stopped trying to make as much as I possibly can. And I didn't care about how long I was trading. Right. That's when I noticed I would lose a lot of money some days is when I was just like, oh, I got to make seven, eight hundred dollars a day. Oh, I have to make a thousand dollars a day or I can't live the lifestyle I dream of and stuff like that, guys. That's when I noticed I'd, I'd lose a lot of money in trading. Like I'd have days where I'd lose like half my account, like 60K or whatever uh, like that. And, um, you know, just stupidity. And everyone goes through that when they first start trading. They think they need to make like what everyone is saying they're making online. You know, these traders that are not even probably real traders. They're just sharing other people's results and stuff. Uh, we can see that yeah, this is, you know, not so exciting if you're a member. And we're earning like 0 0.30 to 0 0.40. Pretty much bang on, you know, uh, through the last month and a half here or so. Um this is kind of the experience that I went through when I traded guys, when I actually started making good profit, like I was like constantly making 200 plus a day USD, right? Which is enough for me to live off. Now I know you see me making a lot more than that through S group, but that's enough for me to live off is if I make $200 USD a day, that'll pay all my bills. We're not stressed out $200 a day. That was my goal. And when I started, uh, you know, going with my goal and sticking to my goal of, Hey, I'm going to trade, uh, Till I make $200 a day or till I lose $200 in a day. Okay. So I'd either make $200 in a day or I'd lose $200 a day. And either way I would stop. Okay. So if I, or, or sorry, and also I would trade till 12. So it doesn't matter what time I wake up at. If I wake up at nine and I trade to 12, then that's my trading day. Okay. If I wake up at 11, and I trade to 12. That's my trading day. Okay. So some days I would, you know, the time thing would take up and I would only make 50 bucks. Okay. Some days I would go and I'd hit my goal of making $200 in the day and I'd take my $200, take my profit. Right. Some days I would be trading. I'd wake up at eight and I'd be trading to 12 and I'd lose $200 or, you know, lose 50 bucks or whatever. And I would just stop. Okay. Or I would trade for 30 minutes and lose 200 bucks and then I would just stop. Okay. So that's kind of when you start to get successful at trading that's normally the technique that most traders will use is when they hit their stop loss, like what they're willing to lose, then they'll stop trading for the day and they'll come back to tomorrow with a, you know, clearer mind and stuff and they'll get going again. Okay. So I want to give you a scenario 
about this in real life that maybe everyone has been through, okay? So when you're playing a sport, like say you're downhill skiing or something, normally people get hurt in sports before they go home, <laughs> okay? So if you're downhill skiing, normally you're going to fall and hurt yourself. The people that, you know, fall and hurt themselves, uh, they're going to fall and hurt themselves the end of the day before they go home, okay? Normally if you're, uh, say you're running a, a, a race or something, normally the people that trip and fall with running the race, it's like in the last, if they're doing a marathon, it's like in the last like 10 kilometers, right? But they've been running all day long kind of thing, okay? So that's normally the case is if you do something for too long, that's when you fail. And I think that's kind of the mindset here with the trading is, you know, and I know it's bots that are trading, but you got to think the bots are programmed by people, right? So they're probably uh, setting a goal of making 0.30 to 0.40% per day. And they're trying to stick to that goal. So, you know, they don't put themselves in a situation where they're at, I don't know, minus 0.30 and uh, uh, they could go down to, you know, say they just were like, oh, we're just going to trade until we make 1% or something like that, right? Or tell, you know, like the goal right now is probably not to go and have a day, day that's 3.1% or whatever kind of thing like that, guys. So I hope you can understand what I'm saying here. That's kind of what I'm thinking, okay? So now if we go over here and we look at the markets, and we see, we look at this here, you can actually see this in the market. But this is what I'm noticing here is, and this is across all markets basically, guys, not with this date, exact dates, but especially with the US dollar, okay? With S group, it's it's basically around the same time there. You can see, I kind of noticed that. I, I, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but even if you look at the Canadian dollar here, right? Like everything's just coming down and they're probably just playing it safe would be my guess. Cause if, if I was the one trading and I was like, okay, I got to make profits to pay my bills and stuff. I'd be playing it safe. I wouldn't be, you know, if it was cryptocurrency, I wouldn't be sitting in it overnight. I wouldn't be buying to hold. I'd be in and out, you know, looking at probably the 15 minute chart and setting, you know, my risk extremely low. If I'm trading on a hundred thousand dollars, I'm only willing to lose $200. Right. So that's kind of what I'd be doing right now. And I think that's kind of what the company's thinking, guys, is, you know, they're not willing to put a lot of risk. But if you're not willing to put a lot of risk, you're not going to have days like this. You're not probably not even going to have days like this over 1%. So this last year, guys, that's kind of what we've been seeing. And then right now, guys, I don't know if this is the new normal. I got no clue if, if it's just safety zone now from 0 0.30 to 0 0.40. I kind of have a feeling we'll get back to this here. But in all honesty, if you're earning 0 0.30 to 0 0.40 and you focus on your investment amount and not, hey, I need to make 0 0.60 per day on average because I don't want to put any more than $10,000 in here, blah, 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 kind of thing like that, then probably S Group is not for you. And, uh, you know, guys, it's pretty safe and secure here. Uh, you know, I'm more comfortable with leaving funds in here than I am leaving them in like my third party wallet, which is ShakePay. So that says a lot. Like every single time you see me do withdrawals, I leave nothing in shake pay because I know one day they could have their Canadian company. They could have problems and go down, right? So I've seen that a ton, guys. I had $30,000 in PESA. I lost that because PESA went and got, uh, well, they did a bunch of bad things. I won't talk about that, but they did a bunch of bad things and the US government took them down, right? So yeah, guys, I just, you know, I love S Group. This here doesn't really bug me at all. Um, I know that if, if this is a new norm, like say we have this for the next six months, 0 0.30 to 0 0.40, I really hope that on the webinar they do, they say something about it because that's the question that every single member has. Most members don't care about the roadmap and the new investment opportunities they're putting out, the new exchange they're putting out. Most of them don't care about the events and stuff like that because really only the leaders and the, the you know people like that are making a lot of money in the company are going to go to the events, um, that type of thing, guys. The average member in here, I believe, cares about this. Like if in this presentation here, the webinar, if they answer the question, why, why are the earnings 0 0.30 to 0 0.40, like basically bang on every single day? We had one day of 0 0.19 there. Um, but, you know, over the last month and a half or so, Maybe not month and a half. Yeah, month and a half. Basically. Yeah, about a month and a half because this is 
November 3rd, and then now is November 9th, so just over a month, I should say, right, from this, uh, this uh, earning percentages right there, right? So anyways, I wanted to talk about that a little bit, guys, and just share with you that I hope they do say something about it um, in the earnings. Maybe they sit, they talk about this all the time in the Russian chat groups, and, and maybe that's why they don't they feel they don't need to say anything about it. But in the English community, I know in our group, a lot of people are thinking about this. I want to share my opinion publicly about this and why I think it is. You know, it's they're doing it for the stability of the company. So we'll get back into here and then we'll end the video there. We had a lot of uh, a lot of chit chat in this video here. Oh, you know what? Another thing I got to do is I got to see how much commission that I made over the last two days by subtracting my investment earnings that I just did a withdrawal in the start of this video with the uh, commissions there. So I'm going to go actually do that right now and just find that. So it was the 8th was that there it is there the 8th was the day that went and I'll find that here. There's all those SWP earnings. Yeah, it should be coming up here really soon. There it is right there. Okay, so this is the lowest earnings of all time from a $50,000 investment, guys, that I've ever seen, which was last month, which was the uh, 7.72 month. So just want to make that clear. This is not normal. Normally, it's over 4,000 on a bad month. Like a bad month would be like 4,000 to 4,200. So this is extremely low. I already did the math on this because I wanted to show you guys this, but obviously I had more commissions come in there. So four. 860. Yeah. Okay. So this would be the commission from the last two days is 502 bucks, which is pretty good. If I just divide that in two, that's 250 and then 250 USD here. We can just do like this 200, uh, 502 USD, USD to CAD. Yeah. It's almost $700. So almost $700 in commissions in two days there. That's pretty freaking nice. Um, in my currency, right? Okay. So anyways, guys, that's it. I'm going to end the video here. Now we'll go back to the careers page there and I'll just end it there. Um, this video has been kind of interesting because I did talk about some interesting stuff. My biggest thing guys is I really hope that in this webinar, they put out some kind of news, um, about the earnings and what I was talking about. Like, you know, it, did they put some safety thing in there so we earn 0 0.30 to 0 0.40 in an unstable market like it's obviously unstable guys i just showed you like six charts there of the top charts in the world like oil s p 500 the dxy all those like everyone knows those charts right they're the most popular charts in the world and they're all down for like the last year or for many months in a row right so i think that has really impacted the safety in S group, as in they have to just play things safe, but means we don't earn like crazy days or anything like that. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Today was day number 783 review video. Man, calculator. So 783. I just keep on going on with these videos. Minus 1000 equals two so 217 days guys so in 217 days from now which is like you know half a year basically i'm gonna say day number 1000 in a video that's crazy it's crazy <laughs> that's gonna be a huge huge milestone um because i've never said that in any kind of promotion that i've done for anything guys because i've always had that mindset of hey i i'm gonna have to jump ship at some time but with s group it's the first time i've felt i don't have to jump ship right it's crazy it's awesome so, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. 217 days away from day number 1000. Nice. Okay. So that's it from me guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Drew and I'll see you in another video here shortly. Bye-bye.